little giant boxing. Derek, what'd you make of that crazy press conference? I mean, they're both going at each other. Hey, man, that's what it is, you know. It's one thing they have history. Like, no other boxer fighting boxing. You know, they're from eight, nine years old. So, yeah. Do you think that's why it was so heated? Because obviously, like, they're three and three, and they just want to get at each other because it's kind of personal now? I think that could be it. I mean, I don't know. I mean, you know, I'm, I'm new to it. So, mm. like, you know, uh, I, don't, I don't, you know. I'm new to the whole situation. Right. And what were you telling Ryan during the press conference? Because I remember I saw that you told him something and he kind of cooled down and took a cool deep night, breath. Man, you don't have to get engaged in that. You don't have to be involved in that. Let everybody let them be who they are. You know, let them do what they do, say what they say. Don't let them get you, you know, out of your character, whatever it is. What do you think about Devin Haney, two-time world champion, two-division two world champion, you know, undisputed, you know, he's done a lot. And this is obviously Ryan Garcia's first world title fight. I think it's, it's nothing to say. He, it's his reputation, everything you said at all. I mean, he's a great fighter. He's been great. He's been very consistent. So that's what it's all about. How do you train Ryan Garcia to beat Devin Haney? No, no doubt. You said, what is that? How do you train him to beat Devin Haney? By training him to beat Devin Haney. Mm. <laughs> And obviously, you have a you know a stable of, of champions with champion right. mentality. You have right, right, you have right, Spence, right. you have Frank Martin, you have Charlo. Like like, how, how's that going to incorporate into Ryan Garcia's training well, methods it, or his it, mentality? It, it, this is all about Ryan. This is all about building him up and developing him as a better fighter, and to what he already has. So it's not so much about any of the other guys. I mean, it's all good to have have that idea of it, but it's all about him. It's all about Ryan. Talk about Frank Martin versus Tank. It looks like it's done, right? Yeah, I mean, you know, if, if they say so, I mean, you know, it's good. I'm ready to be ready to go. I mean, Tank's a hell of a fighter. I think that on this level, you get nothing but great fighters. Right. You know? And everybody talk about the best fighting the best or whatever it is. So I think that that's what you'll see. Better fighters fighting better fighters. It's good. Derek, obviously you're a high caliber, world class trainer. You know, what's next for Charlo? No, I mean, I'm not. I'm not. I don't know. I mean, it's, it's, that's that's a, that's an Al Heyman question. Okay. What about hands down, man's down, Earl Spence? That's an Al Heyman's question. Yeah. All right. So, yeah, yeah. so, what's what's the update with with you, Derek? I know obviously you have a you want to do a foundation, you know, for the kids. No, I don't want to do. I have a foundation. Oh yeah. Talk about the foundation. It's all about the kids in my community, man. I was one of those kids, man. It, it took a lot of people to help nurture me and nurture to get me to where I am as a man and and help the kids throughout all these hardships and everything. So that's what me and my foundation is all about. All right, and lastly, anything you want to leave us with, Derek? Hey man, just tune in April 20th. You know, um, I'm looking forward to that. All right, thank you, Derek, appreciate your time.